Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today the 7th of January, Holy Mother the Church calls us to the memory of Saint Raymond Peñafort. Saint Raymond Peñafort has a beautiful place in the history of the Church. He is one of the favorite saints that I like and his work is also real great. Saint Raymond Peñafort was a Dominican. He was a close relative of the King of Aragon and he became a Dominican uh, priest, a Dominican preacher. And then later, uh, he became a canon, a canonist, started teaching canon law, which he taught for 15 years. He took doctorate in canon law. And uh, uh, together with St. Peter Nolasco, he established a new congregation, Order of Our Lady of Mercy. He was a powerful preacher and it is said that 10,000 people in all converted into Catholic faith from Sarsians, Valdinians and Albigenians. Uh, Pope Gregory the Ninth called him to Rome in 1230 and made him the royal, uh, the papal penitentiary or the grand penitentiary. penitentiary. Uh, the, or to say that uh, papal confessor. Interesting to him, that great work of condensing the law of the church. So all that law, the code that was found, he was the one, if it's where, when it was in the 15th century, 16th century itself, he brought all those things together uh, in, in, in the 11th, 12th century, sorry. In the 11th, 12th century itself, he brought all those things together. And these codes that he brought together, was followed by the church till the 19th century. So, 8-900 years, the canon law of the church was something that was codified by Raymond Peñafort. He accumulated all the codes of the church and kept it in one place. Uh, then he w they wanted to make him the archbishop, which he did not want to become. And later they made him the third superior general of the Dominican order, after becoming which he nearly bought to systematization of all the congreg congregation orders and the rules and things like that. And he died at the age of 100. And before his death, he did another one good job. That is Thomas Aquinas, the Dominican saint, someone who wrote the Summa Theologia. Someone who is known as the greatest angelic doctor, greatest doctor of the church. Who was behind him, pestering him to write the Summa? It was Raymond Peñafort. So dear brothers and sisters, someone who really did a lot to the church on the academic basis and on the basis of the law that is in the church, Raymond Peñafort. My impact on the church is great when I give myself to God. Amen.